Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you the three types of channels that we have in Microsoft Teams. I'm sure you already noticed uh, when you create a new team, you know, the next thing you can do is uh, create a channel. Uh, and we actually have three different types of channels. And that's essentially what I'm going to explain to you in this particular video. So uh, just to kind of set the foundation, I have this project XYZ team I just created. Uh, and uh, let's see if I click on manage team, uh, you will see that I'm the owner of the team and John and Mary, they are essentially the members of the team. Now, by default, when a team is created, uh, essentially it creates uh, a channel already called general channel. And think of it as a kind of a default channel. This is not a channel you can rename or uh, delete. Uh, essentially, this is kind of a catch-all channel where, of course, you know, users can uh, post conversations and chat, uh, you know, with one another. Uh, now, a channel is just a way to kind of separate conversations. So, uh, on a SharePoint site and a file share, we of course think in terms of folders, how we organize documents and you know files and folders. In Teams, we think. Uh, in terms of conversations, all right? So the idea is that we have a team and we have different topics, different types of conversations, and that's essentially what the channels are for. Now, uh, like I said already, uh, we already have this general channel, but let's just say I want to create another channel called business requirements. So we have a dedicated channel just to discuss business requirements. So you click the red dot and click add channel. And this is where you uh, essentially type in the name uh, of the channel that you want to create. Now, under privacy, this is super important, all right? This is where you get uh, you know, to select the type of channel. And we have three different types, standard, private, and shared. Standard is the default one. So for this one, I'll go with the standard all right, uh, channel. I think most of your channels will be standard channels and click Add. Now, what does it mean? What does the standard channel mean? The standard channel essentially means that this channel will be visible to all the team members, to all the team members. So um, myself, you know, John, Mary, who are you know, members of the team, everyone will see the general channel. Everyone will get to see the business requirements channel. And of course, all the conversations as well as all the files. If you click on the files tab, each and every channel has uh, its own posts and files tab. And let's say I'm going to upload some documents. So I have some documents here on my C drive and I just drag and drop them into this channel. Uh, let's see where these documents reside now, all right? So where do these documents reside? Uh, let's find out. The easiest way to do, um, you know, to essentially find them would be to open in SharePoint, all right? Follow that button. Sometimes it's visible, it's not visible. You have to click the three dots and you click on open in SharePoint. And here are the documents. Now, um, essentially, I just want to explain to you what's happening here. Uh, when you create a new team, all right, just like uh, I did here, when I created this new team, behind the scenes, it created a Microsoft 365 group. And remember, John, Mary, and myself, we are the members of the group. It also created this SharePoint site, and this is essentially where the documents reside, all right? Uh, this is the site you can make pretty and you know add other widgets to but this site also has a document library uh, a default document library called documents right here uh, and if you click on that library uh, you are going to see essentially some folders and by default for every single standard channel it creates a folder that's essentially where the documents reside all right so remember here i have general and business requirements and again, general and business requirements. If I click, look at this, the same documents I just uploaded to Microsoft Teams, they pretty much reside in that folder that got created, you know, uh, and it has the same name as obviously the channel, uh, but this is where the documents reside. And just like with the channel and Teams, these folders are visible to all the team members. So uh, Mary, John, myself, we can all add, edit, delete you know, any of those documents and obviously, uh, you know, see all the conversations in uh, Microsoft Teams. So that's a standard channel. Uh, and again, it's just a way for you, there is really no security on a standard channel. It's just a way for you to separate conversations. That's all it is, all right? Now, we also have 
uh, to other types of channels. And let me explain to you what they are. So let's go ahead and click add a channel. We have also a private channel. What does private mean? Private means that it will only be available to the subset of users from my team. So here is the use case. Let's just say on this project, I need to have uh, a discussion with management. You know, maybe let's say Mary is the you know executive, right? And uh, uh, we need to have a private conversations, uh, private conversation, but it's going to be related to this particular project. So in this case, we are going to create another channel, and we are going to call it management. And this time, we're going to choose private. Now, specific teammates have access, and that's very important. All right. So uh, the only people I can invite, I can invite to this channel either Mary or John, all right? You have to be the member of the team to be part of the uh, private channel. I cannot invite anyone else. And I'll show you how this works. So you see, I type in Mary, I can add her. I type in John, I can add John. Let's say I want to type Lisa, who is part of my tenant, but uh, <coughs> sorry, but uh, she essentially is not part of the team. Well, as you can see, I cannot even add her. All right, I cannot even add her to uh, my team. You have to be part of the team. So it's a subset of users. Let's make Mary uh, essentially the a member of the uh, private channel. Click Add and click Done. And you will get to see this channel. And you will see a little log. That means it's a private channel. And if Mary logs in, if I log in, uh, we both will see this channel. If John logs in, he is not going to see this channel. Is not going to see this channel. So, and you know, just like with standard channels, um, you have the conversations, you know, post tab. So, Mary and I, we can, uh, you know, chat. And if we click on the files tab, uh, all right, uh, this is where the documents reside. Now, again, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to, let's say, you know, what we need to discuss this budget document uh, in this uh, private management channel. Now, uh, let's go back to our site. Uh, where are my documents? I don't see a folder. Uh, what's going on? Well, let me explain to you what's going on. Uh, let's find uh, out where those documents are. And uh, once again, I uh, kind of uh, follow this Open and SharePoint button. And let's see what happened. And look what happens here when uh, essentially, if you look at the URL, it kind of gives, gives it away. But let me click on Home here. When you create a private channel, uh, what actually happens, it creates a totally separate site, all right? So essentially, it's not going to be a folder, uh, just like for standard channel. It's going to be a totally separate SharePoint site. And the naming convention for that site is the name of the team dash the name of the private channel. And on this site, you have a document library. And in this document library, you have a folder with the name of the private channel. And look at this. Here is our budget document. Uh, now, this site, uh, in theory, uh, I mean, kind of, kind of looks like the other sites, but um, I don't expect you to modify the look and feel of the sites. The only reason why Microsoft created uh, essentially those separate sites is for security reasons, right? So we have a pretty secure place for those private documents. And as a matter of fact, you can probably make it pretty and, and everything, but I don't see a reason why. As a matter of fact, even when you try you know, to manage permissions, it pretty much tells you go back to Microsoft Teams, right? This is where you manage permissions from. So if you want to add some people you know, to the site, you should add them to the private channel inside um, essentially of uh, Microsoft Teams. So very, very important, uh, unlike with, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, standard channel, we got a totally separate SharePoint site here. And that will be the case for any private, you know, sites that you're going to create. All right. So uh, that's, uh, that's essentially the private channel. Uh, now, we also have a third type of channel called shared channel. And what's the idea behind shared channel? So uh, remember, with private channel, you have to be part of the team. So the only people I can invite to my private uh, channel are the people who are already part of the team. But here is a use case. Uh, let's just say I need to invite uh, maybe a person, you know, Lisa, who works for finance. But, you know, she, we need to collaborate with her, but I really don't want to add Lisa as the team member, right? That's a key requirement for that private uh, channel. Uh, I really don't want to add Lisa to the whole team because she will have access to everything on my project. Lisa only needs to see 
uh, you know, the stuff related to finance, um, you know, documents and conversations. So private will not work because again, for private, I have to make Lisa the team member. I don't want that. In this case, you're going to click share. Share means essentially um, for share channel, you can invite anyone who is part of the team, but also anyone who is not part of the team. And let me uh, type in the name here. So we're creating a finance channel and obviously share. And what will happen, what will happen here is they obviously the share channel will be created and it will have a, a little icon, a designation that it is a shared channel. So finally, our shared channel has been created. Here it is, uh, finance uh, shared channel, and it has this uh, little icon designating that it's a shared channel in contrast to the lock icon, which is essentially a private channel. Now, uh, when I created this channel, it actually asked me who I want to add, and I did not add anyone, and I did it on purpose. And the reason for that is because I want to show you what's happening behind the scenes. So if you, and this is something you can do to either private or shared channel at any point, but if you click three dots and you click manage channel, this is where you can manage the membership for your channel. Now, by default, it kind of added, you know, my entire team to that shared channel. I don't want that. So I'm going to remove this. All right. So I'm going to remove uh, essentially my whole team from that shared channel. I want to be actually very specific who I add. Now, remember, unlike the private channel where I had to select from essentially my team members, right? Uh, with shared channel, I pretty much can add anyone I want. So I can add Mary, I can add John, uh, but um, you know, I can also invite anyone else from uh, my organization. So uh, I don't know why it's taken a while, but uh, let's ignore that. So I'm going to essentially share with people and invite uh, anyone I want. And again, I can invite, you know, Mary, I can invite John, and I can invite even Lisa, who is not part of my team at all. All right. And that's very important. So with shared channels, remember, you can invite anyone you wish. You can invite anyone you wish. And essentially, uh, again, I don't know why uh, it takes a bit of uh, time to add a member, but it shouldn't take that long. Once you add, you know, your team members, whoever you want inside of your team or outside of your team. Now, let's see what actually happens behind the scenes. Uh, once again, we have the two tabs, posts and files tab. And again, you know, we can obviously chat. I can chat with anyone who is the member of that particular shared channel. But let's actually see what's happening behind the scenes. And again, I'm going to upload a few documents uh, from my C drive. Uh, let's just say we want to upload those to our shared channel. Here we go. And again, let's see what happens behind the scenes. And you probably uh, already guessed what will happen behind the scenes when I click on this. Uh, here are the documents, but let's see what actually happened behind the scenes. So behind the scenes, it did the same thing as it did for private uh, channel. Essentially, it created a whole, you know, separate site uh, with the name of the team dash, you know, name uh, of the uh, shared channel. And on that side, we once again have a document library. It doesn't have a folder unlike a private channel, uh, but it does have the files essentially that I uploaded to the shared channel. So I, another thing that's really, really important is that uh, every time you create a shared channel, just like a private channel, it spins up a whole separate site, which is kind of independent, all right? It's independent of this default site that's uh, created. Uh, so these are essentially the three uh, types of conversations, three types of channels. And uh, if you notice, like, right, each one of them has its own uh, way uh, in terms of how it stores uh, the documents. One last thing I want to mention uh, before I end this video is that uh, there is a limit to how, my, how many channels you can create. So as of recording of this video, if I'm not mistaken, you can create up to 200 standard channels. You can create up to 30 private channels and up to 200 shared channels. So these are the limits you need to be aware of. Uh, other than this, I think that's all I wanted to mention in this particular video. Hopefully uh, this makes sense to you now, uh, but I think it's very important uh, for you as the team member or especially if you're a team owner to kind of know where your content is. All right. Uh, you need to be aware of all these extra sites that are 
uh, created for you as you create all these different uh, you know, private and shared channels. All right, once again, thank you very much uh, for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.